everybody, it's Blue Ducky and welcome to another episode of Doll Comparisons. And in this video we are comparing not all, I don't have all the Maddie, the Madeline Hatter versions there are, but this is a majority of them. I have the Way to Wonderland, the Just Sweet, or no, Sugar Coated, Sugar Coated, the, the, Hattastic, that's that's what that one is. Hattastic, Legacy Day, and Signature Maddie. So I have these, all these Maddies to uh, compare with you guys. I'm gonna show you each of their faces up close so you can check out their makeup and eyes. This is the Way to Wonderland Madeline, and she has dark purple lipstick and pink eyeshadow. This is the sugar coated Madeline, and she has a purple and teal eyeshadow combo and then a dark purple lipstick. This is the Hattastic Party Madeline Hatter and she has a light pink lipstick and very light pink eyeshadow and out of all of them she probably has my favorite makeup because it's really soft and sweet looking. Here is Legacy Madeline Hatter and she has pink lips again and then a purple and pink eyeshadow combo and then there's some glitter uh, between the eyeshadow and the eyebrows. This of course is Signature Madeline Hatter and she has pink and a little bit of purple in her eyeshadow and then a purple lipstick. So all of the makeup with the exception of Sugar Coated is all purple and pinks for the eyeshadow. Um, on all of her faces. Next I'm going to look at her hats because each of these Madelines that I have has a hat. This, uh, the Way to Wonderland has giant hat, oversized hat, and it's blue and it has a pink ribbon and you can see a, a blue teapot and then she also have cards. Her sweet Madeline Hatter has a very small hat and it looks like a teacup with a little gingerbread man sitting inside. Very cute. Hattastic Madeline. And it's a simple black top hat with purple ribbon and roses. Here's Legacy Madeline. And she has this cool gold top hat with lots of intricate detail and design. And then it has a blue ribbon and buckle. And I think that little uh, yellow thing is supposed to be a card. Which, out of all the hats of the Madelines I have, this is definitely my favorite. And here is Signature Madeline, and her hat looks like a teacup, which is really, really cute. And it's that plummy uh, magenta color with gold designs on the side. And you can sort of see uh, the tea, the tea uh, bag supposed to be like falling out the side there. Checking out each of their hair. Um, for Madeline, she normally has her hair loose and it's uh, the minty teal color green, green blue, and then the dark purple color. And the Way to Wonderland has that pink streak in it, but um, this Way to Wonderland hair is a little bit funky to me. It's not really curly. It's kind of like just wavy, gelled. It's not that nice to me. Here is the Sugar Coated Madeline and she definitely um, has the signature colors, that green and purple. Her hair isn't super curly. It's more of a wave, loose curl but has the same signature colors. The Hattastic uh, Party Madeline, and they changed up her colors as the same mint color, but for the purple, they went with a lavender purple, so she has a pastel colored hair. And it's in a side ponytail, which the, it's a little bit wavy, not super, super curly. Here is Legacy Day Madeline, and her hair is more curly as you can see lots of ringlets there and it is in her signature colors the blue and purple the teal and purple mint i'm not sure what color to call it actually but i just know it's awesome here is signature madeline with 
her hair as you can see has all the teal and purple and it's really really curly now this is how it looks for most of the episodes in the show this is how she looks except for like the special episodes where she wears different outfits but um, I think out of all of them this is my favorite hair and color so with most of the Madeline Hatters that I own they all have gloves except for the sugar coated here is way to wonderland black gloves Best tea party also has black gloves it has black gloves with a white uh, ruffle around the wrist and pink bow on the wrist Finally, as well signature maddie has teal gloves with white polka dots and a white ruffle around the wrist for the most part in madeline's outfits she sticks to certain colors as you can see uh, that purple and shades of blue or mint. Uh, Just Sweet has a little bit of that in her apron, the ruffle around the apron and her necklace, but her dress is kind of standing out as quite different from the rest of the group. And then the Way to Wonderland dress throws in some of that hot pink. But as you can see, she keeps to a basic you know, same color palette, which I think is cool. My favorite outfits out of the five dolls I have here is a toss-up between the Legacy Day Madeline and the Signature Madeline. Uh, I can't choose between the two. I love these pants and the awesome, awesome coat on Legacy Day. And then this dress, her, her signature outfit it's so cute. And, uh, uh, the last little detail I wanted to look at was the stockings and shoes. Now four out of the five of these dolls have some sort of fabric stockings. The sugar coated did not come with fabric stockings but it looked like a sock attached to the shoe but it was like plastic. And this is Way to Wonderland Madeline Hatter. She has hot pink stockings and then these teal green shoes that have cupcakes and then a teapot at the end as the heel and here is the sugar coated madeline like you can see what i was talking about her it looks like fancy little ankle socks but they are made out of plastic and not fabric and then her shoes look like a waffle cone and then like melty frosty pink frosted roses on her heels and uh, not heels but um the toes of her shoes melting down really cute fantastic tea party uh madeline shoes and she has these black fishnets on by the way but here's a look at her shoes they're gold kind of antique looking and the heel reminds me of a like a coffee table, uh, the leg of a coffee table, that kind of shape. Here is Legacy Day Madeline's stockings, which are white opaque stockings, and they have gold lines going down them. And then check out these shoes. They're amazing. The heel is a whole bunch of teacups stacked up on each other. And then the front of it is all ornate, lots of carving, gold, and it's just so pretty. These are definitely my favorite uh, shoes out of the Madeline. And here is Signature Maddie's stockings, which are white with blue polka dots. And then her shoes look like teacups. The heels remind me of a handle of a teapot or a teacup. And just like the way it goes around her heel looks like a teacup to me. Uh, the white reminds me of porcelain and then the gold accents are really really cool um, her stockings are my favorite out of the five Madelines that I have I like those polka dots so Madeline is my second favorite character if uh, any of my regular viewers watch you probably know CA Cupid is my favorite ever after high character but Madeline Hatter is definitely my second favorite and I really love that um, no matter what outfit she's in, she always has some reference, some accessory or pattern on her dress that refers to uh, Tea Party since she is the daughter of the Mad Hatter 
which is favorite for his Mad Hatter tea party um, in Way to Wonderland. She has tea cups printed on her over jacket and also in her heel. On the sugar coated, she has the little teacup on her head with the gingerbread man. On the Hattastic, there's teacups printed on her dress. And then her earrings are tea bags. On Legacy Day, she has the teacups in her shoes. And, um, oh, her bag is a giant tea bag, which is pretty cool. And then on Signature Maddie, uh, her shoes remind me of teacups, and then she has a little bit of teacups in her dress and her hat. So she really sticks to her destiny with being Mad Hatter's daughter. I really, really like her. Which one is your favorite out of these five? Uh, mine's a toss-up between Legacy Day and The Signature. I can't decide between those two, but those are my two favorite. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite out of the makeup, the dress, the shoes, the hat, all those different things are. I really enjoyed reading what your thoughts are. Thank you guys so much for watching this doll comparison of Madeline Hatter. I can't wait for more versions of her to come out in the future. I know there's going to be a 17 inch version of Madeline Hatter. So we're going to get a giant Maddie, which is pretty awesome. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!